Not that long ago, we didn't understand why we got sick. There was no internet and doctors were basically guessing. But then in the 19th century, a few scientists figured it out. Germs. One of those scientists was Louis Pasteur. The milk already pasteurized is piped into this filling station. His name might ring a bell because he developed pasteurization, a process that kills off germs and things like milk. Louis Pasteur was an accomplished French chemist when he started to investigate the causes of disease. He developed some of the earliest vaccines, including one that virtually saved Europe's chicken industry. And his microbiology research also revived France's silk production. And his work on pasteurization saved the French beer and wine industries. Pasteur had become a science rock star. One of the key moments in persuading the world that germs cause disease occurred on a French farm in 1881. Pasteur got into an argument with a veterinarian who absolutely refused to accept that germs might cause anthrax. Pasteur basically challenged him to a scientific duel. He had 50 sheep, perfectly healthy, set aside. 25 of them were given an anthrax vaccine. The other 25 didn't get the injection. Not long after, all 50 sheep were injected with a particularly virulent strain. This was huge, especially because press from around the world came to cover the results. And the reveal was pretty remarkable. <gasps> the 25 sheep that had had Pasteur's experimental vaccine were healthy. The others were dying, clearly, of anthrax. And this was splashed on the front pages of newspapers across the world. Pasteur was a master of PR, but it was necessary for people to fundamentally alter the way they thought about infectious disease, to realize that microorganisms were indeed the cause. One really important outcome of the germ revolution was the development of more vaccines. Many infectious diseases can be brought completely under control. There had been smallpox vaccines. They'd been available for well over a century. But that was it. As a result of the work of people like Louis Pasteur, you start to see vaccines introduced for anthrax, for cholera, and for typhoid. One of the most important public health innovations was the introduction of what was called pasteurization. You would heat up a substance like milk, kill off the bacteria, and then it could be sold. It dramatically reduced the number of children who were dying from gastrointestinal illness. In fact, in the 19th century, one out of every four infants passed away before their first birthday due to infectious diseases. After the rise of germ theory and processes like pasteurization, the number of infant mortalities dropped in some places as much as 50%. Just over 100 years since that day on the French sheep farm, pasteurization became law in the United States. And in the decades in between, more vaccines were developed, including Louis Pasteur's vaccine for rabies. Medicine had been ineffective uh, for virtually the entirety of human history. Now they were going down the right path. So curative medicine came of age, largely because doctors knew what actually causes disease. 